quilters love pineapple blocks and today I've chosen one which is called pineapple plant which is a little bit different from a traditional pineapple block. This one's pretty easy to put together and should go together fairly quickly. Hi, this is Penny Hallgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.com. Thanks for joining me today and let's go to the sewing machine and get started working on this block. The first thing I'm going to do is sew these little half square triangles onto the end of each one of these um, blocks that have the triangular shape at, at the very end. And then we'll be pretty much ready to sew the block together. Now that I have all the half square triangles sewn together, it's time to start putting these pieces together. And this block is very similar to sewing a log cabin in that you do have to kind of pay attention to the order in which you add the pieces and what you're going to do is start with kind of a foundation piece and then add on to the side. So the first thing you may notice is that this piece is the same size as these two once they're put together. So the first step is to start with these two corner pieces and sew them together. Now, of course, one thing you want to do is check to be sure that your pieces are facing the correct direction because the first time I sewed this together, the green was on the other side. So it always helps to check with your pattern and make sure you're sewing it correctly. So now that these two are sewn together, I'm ready to sew this one on and I just fold it down. I'm going to fold my seam so that it's on the dark side, as always, and just stitch down that side to attach that patch. Now that this corner is sewn together, the next one I'm going to add is this yellow piece and it just goes up and stitch on the bottom. Now we've got these little units sewn together and the next piece that fits is this piece to the side. And you can start seeing that the pattern here is to pick the next piece that matches up with whatever the side is. So same process, just fold it down and right sides together. Now I've got this, it's kind of a, it's actually at this point it's a square and I'm just going to attach this bottom piece and stitch it on. And now our very last piece, this big long one, which goes down this side and we'll finish the block. It turns out that the pineapple is a kind of symbol for friendship and probably that's why so many quilters love to make pineapple blocks. This is our finished pineapple block, and I think it's a little bit different. It kind of resembles a pineapple plant, and you could put it sideways, or you could set it in a quilt on point, which is more like how the pineapple would grow. Thanks for joining me. This is Penny Hallgren at QuiltBlockLibrary.com. If you're not already there, head on over to QuiltBlockLibrary.com and download your free copy of the pattern for this, for this pineapple plant quilt block. In addition, I've just started QuiltBlockLibrary.tv, which is set up kind of like a blog where you can scroll through and read articles. And also, I'm in the process of uploading all of the videos for the quilt blocks that I've done before. So you'll be able to look at archived quilt blocks uh, demonstrations, how to sew them together. Enjoy and peaceful piecing. This is Penny Hallgren signing off.